Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing this Nostalgia 4 quart ice cream maker. It comes with this bucket with a handle, a canister, a lid, a cap for the lid, the dasher, and the electric motor. The instruction manual has a few recipes for ice cream and sorbet. Looking at the recipes, the maximum amount of liquid you should use is about 11 cups. I have the canister chilling in the fridge right now. It's supposed to be cold to the touch. To make ice cream, you will need ice and salt. You can use any type of salt, whether it's table salt, coarse salt, kosher salt, or rock salt. There's a drainage hole here. When you fill the bucket with salt and ice, you want to stop right under the hole so there won't be any leaking. Make sure you wash the canister, bucket, lid, cap, and dasher when you first get the unit. The canister has been chilled in the fridge. Pour the ice cream mixture into the canister. Before making ice cream, make sure to chill your ice cream mixture. Don't fill the canister more than two thirds since the mixture will expand during freezing. I have about six cups of the ice cream mixture. Put the dasher in the middle, put the lid on. The canister goes right in the middle. It just sits in the middle. Put the ice in. Ice should be in small pieces. About six cups of ice, then half a cup of salt. Then layer it with more ice and salt. There's the drainage hole and the ice is right below that. Put the motor right on top. These tabs on the motor head should slide into the holes on the bucket. Now we just plug it in. The canister will turn during the freezing process. Stir and mix the salt and ice every 10 to 15 minutes. It's been 12 minutes, I'm gonna add some more ice. and some salt. Turn off and unplug after 30 minutes or until the motor stops. Put your hand on the lid and take the motor off. You can see there's still a lot of ice here. I used about six pounds of ice. Wipe the top off. There is condensation, of course, but there was no leaking and there's no water on my table. You can see the ice cream got nice and thick. This is about soft serve consistency, I'd say. It's very creamy. It's not icy at all. It tastes really good. Of course, as with most ice cream makers, you will have to put this in the freezer for a little while until it hardens up. I have to tell you, it's amazing. It's not icy at all. It's creamy. And I put vanilla beans and a lot of vanilla extract in here. So it's perfect vanilla ice cream. Definitely use this recipe. I'll put a link right below this video. It's really easy to clean. Wash the bucket, canister, lid, and dasher in warm soapy water and dry. They're not dishwasher safe. You can store your ice cream in this canister with the lid and the little blue lid cap. But I prefer to store my ice cream in plastic containers or any other containers with a tight fitting lid. Overall, this Nostalgia ice cream maker was very easy to use. You just need to add ice and salt. And in 30 minutes, you have creamy ice cream. I know this is a simple plastic bucket, but for some reason, I really love the color. It just reminds me of summer. It's inexpensive. Of course, you do have to put the ice cream in the freezer so it can get hard. And that you're gonna have with any ice cream maker that you buy. 
After coming out of the freezer, it's still creamy and not grainy or icy. Most people when they buy an ice cream maker don't use it a lot. So you probably don't wanna to spend too much on something you don't use a lot. I was very surprised at the texture of the ice cream, that it was creamy and not grainy. For an inexpensive ice cream maker, this nostalgia did a great job. If you want to try out this nostalgia, I'll put a link to it right below the video. As always, I hope you found this review useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more reviews of products you use every day. Thanks for watching.